Welcome to the Missoula Pro XCT course preview. First of all, I want to explain why I'm talking in a really terrible attempt at an Australian accent. Reason 1. When I showed Colton McElwain of Cycling Dirt my last video, he said it was awesome and was just like Crocodile Hunter shows. Reason 2. When Izzy Kohan, the Cycling Dirt intern, saw my awesome Indiana Jones hat, he said every time I walked I should speak with an Australian accent. Reason 3. One of my housemates this week is Jack Haig who's from Australia and he has a super cool accent. Plus it'll probably be more entertaining for everyone watching the video. Here are the lap facts. Each lap is 2.93 miles long and climbs 1,136 feet. Starting from 3,944 feet above the nearest ocean. Here is the track and elevation profile. And here is just the track. Unlike the National Championships course, this one doesn't go straight up, then straight down, so it isn't quite as easy to break down. Instead, I've colored the track according to what each part is. Blue is climbing on double track, red is climbing on single track, and yellow is descending, all of which is single track. This would be a good time to pause the video if you really want to see it because I'm moving on. There's good passing on the double track climbs. Awesome. Um. The single track climbs have quite a bit less passing and there are some very steep switchbacks. The descents have almost no passing. The one exception is the drop known as the A-line. If you hit the I-line, you'll pass anyone in front of you who takes the B-line because the B-line is slower and the spectators will love you. The other place to be aware of is the trickle crossing. I'd call it a stream crossing, but it isn't really a stream, it's just a wet spot. It is worth noting because once you cross the trickle, there's a short double track climb and then you descend for the rest of the lap. I recommend using the bike on the other side of the stream as a berm because it's faster. Very close to the bottom of the course, you hit the bridge. The slope on the far side is steep, so don't hit it with too much speed. Then you have one last single track section through the trees and the lap is over. So that's it for today, until next time. I also recommend not trying to go up the bridge.